morning. Welcome to my channel, Dougie Shaven. The sun is coming up here in Austin, Texas, and it's time for my morning shave. In my stone crop pottery mug this morning, I have fresh whole bean ground Sterling Soap Company. This is Mocha Java, my favorite. Getting my morning started. And in my Hendrix Classics and Company bowl with my Teton Shaves brush, I have whipped up for you this morning the one, the only Master Soap Creations Ruby Forest. And guys, Ah, uh, apple, lemon, neroli, bergamot, four checks in my book. Ah, uh, fabulous, fabulous scent. And I'm going to be starting off with a little bit of Antica Barbaria pre-shaved cream. We're going to finish off with some Ariana and Evan Skin Essentials. This is their post-shave serum, and we've got the matching splash. Let's get rocking and rolling. Just got out of a nice hot shower this morning. Gonna be around 100 degrees here again in Austin, Texas. It's just been brutal. This, it's just been a brutal summer so far. So you just gotta, gotta roll with it. So Master Soap Creations, uh, Antica Barbaria, one squirt only. That's all you need up there, pre-shave. cream and it really does soften up the whiskers, gives your skin some nice extra vitamin and mineral support so you can scrape whichever blade of your choice across it. And I like this because it's got like a little bit of a, a nice cooling feel effect to it, but it is just ever so slight. And speaking of blades, today I am going to be using my Vintage Restored Philly. This is a 7 8 beautiful blade. Just stropped it 50 paces across my nice strop. Man, so it's just been hot here in Texas. I mean, just super, super hot. Golf course is sweaty. And... <clears throat> You got to get that 630, 645 a.m. tea time, you know, to, to, to get out there and play in a decent time because it's just too hot. So the Master Soap Creations is out of South Africa. They are small batched artesians. And just immediately I noticed this soap just blew up in my bowl and just took so much water. I mean, it just kept, I kept, kept taking more and more and more water. And the scent is very, very pleasant. I'm really getting the apple and the lemon now that I've, I've lathered it up and I can smell it in the room here, but just wonderful, wonderful, thick and creamy lather. And, uh, I, I gotta tell you, I'm definitely going to be trying out more of their stuff. They, I was looking at, uh, on the wet shaving store, my, my co-host Andy's place, and they've got a variety, a variety of, of, of different scent, uh, types that, that I would definitely love to try. So I'm definitely going to be getting some more of that. See how this post shave feel is. Um, but as far as slickness and everything is concerned, great, great lather already. I can tell you that. Let's see what we got here. I like to pull up my skin there and I stick my chin out. Oh yeah, really good stuff. Great glide on it. I use my heel now around here. To get right around there. You can use all parts of your straight razor, folks. It 
scoop out under the nose and push your chin out so you can stretch that skin out and make sure you got a good flat cutting surface because this is a surgically sharpened blade. I just put it on my 30,000 um, last night, my Shapton. Oh, wow. And th this filly, you can really hear it cutting through the whiskers. Love that feedback of 12 hours or 24 hours of, of beard growth. Switching hands, got to be ambidextrous with straight razors and commissory. Oh, yeah. Yep, so Master Soap Creations, South Africa, two thumbs up so far. I gotta say, great glide on this. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful feel on, on my skin after just one pass. Um, and and I, I appreciate, you know, having some residual slickness uh, on your skin. It really helps for cleanups, um, you know, and stuff of that nature. When you're going back over it, you, you, you don't need soap. Although you're supposed to use soap uh, on every pass, but you know, um, if it's good enough, you don't need it. And I'll say, This, uh, this tub right here, um, th this, th this is a six ounce tub, which you're getting a lot more soap uh, than you do out of a lot of, of just regular United States places who go with the four ounce tub. But boy, really great performance. Really great scent. Uh, this is a, 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 indeed a wonderful, wonderful summer scent. It's fresh. It's bright. And I mean, when I opened the tub, I could immediately smell it. And now that I've lathered it up, it is just absolutely superb. So the Verde, Austin's Soccer League, had a terrible start this year. Oh yeah, this great, great feel. Very, very, very much a lot of glide on this. And just to show you, no soap. There's that much glide on it that I can I can do that. That's the big test right there. But yeah, so the Verde, terrible start this year. Came back for the second half of the season and are just kicking butt. I mean, <laughs> kicking butt, beating teams that they've never beaten before. And soccer mania is crazy here in Austin right now. Got a game today. And uh, it's an away game, and we played away last week, too, and uh, got a tie. But just looking really good, playoff contention, you know, when they started off, you know, we got to the playoffs last year, and, uh, you know, just, I've been to a couple of games, man, and Soccer fans are unique, man. I mean, I'm talking, <laughs> I've been to games in Europe too, you know, in Italy and in England, but, you know, they carry the same weight here in, in, in Austin, Texas. Uh, this is our second pass, folks, and uh, I'm going to go across the grain now. 
But man, just it's it's just crazy, man. Everybody dressing up and black and green and when they when they score, the whole stadium goes green. Get around those lips. I put just a little bit of air into my uh, upper lip there to get it straight. So that uh, I can get a good cutting surface on there. But yeah, so six ounce tub, that's pretty large. And I just went over this bad boy with my uh, uh, 30,000 and my 16, uh, 30, my 16,000 and my 30,000 Shapton last night. I'm going to be summarizing. Uh, all of my, my blades, uh, today on uh, all of my straight razor collection. Uh, I go back over it with the microscope. And uh, see which blade needs attention. I'm really meticulous in my after cleanup. So, you know, most of my blades hold a really great uh, edge. Switch hands, pull my skin, but it gets really, really uh, humid here in Austin, Texas. So, you know, um, I, I, I don't get around to all of my straights as I have so many of them uh, as I'd like to. So uh, I find it helpful to go ahead and summarize them, which is the opera, uh, uh, opposite of winterize, not like summarizing a sentence or whatever. But uh, uh, I, 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 you know, refresh the edge a little bit, and then uh, I put some mineral oil on them. And uh, I store all of my straights in, I have these little packages here, they're leather, and uh, uh, they sit under the sink, so they're protected. Uh, and you can get these on Amazon for, for like eight bucks. Um, and they, they work really well. Man, super great post-shave feel on this Ruby Forest. And <laughs> just a great scent. This is just a phenomenal scent. Great, great glide, great post shave feel, and not to mention the normal amount that I put in my the bottom of my bowl just blew up. It kept taking water and kept taking water, and it's very, very thick and creamy and just absolutely wonderful. Two thumbs up. They are definitely master soap creators. And woo! This Teton Shaves brush, man, is great. It's got these, uh, this is the only one that I have that has these little notches in it. And I, I love it. It just fits in my hand perfectly. Whips up a really nice, super thick lather. And you need that especially for my third pass, which I'm going to be going against the grain, and they call that the fool's pass. Because I pity the fool. I just like to have a nice BBS, so I always do an against the grain pass. Everybody different. You got to do what you got to do. But it's gonna be hot here. I gotta cut the grass. 
A lot of stuff going on today. Um, big, big Saturday. I got to do some spring cleaning. <laughs> and it's summer. <laughs> Getting into that heel of the of my straight razor, which I like to use. <clears throat> of the cutthroat. I hate those little hairs that try to hang out around your lip. You know, I got to get all of those off. <coughs> Excuse me. Very nice performer. This filly is. It is just such a great one. I got, I got this about three or four years ago and, and, and restored it. And absolutely love it. I want to redo the lettering on it. On the scales itself. And I've been looking for... I mean, it's not bad. It's just got a little bit of missing stuff in there. But, I mean, it is what it is. Down here, I've got this unique growth. It goes up this way, and then it goes down here. I like to get all of that totally close. Super close shave here. Get around that nose. Awesome three passes. Really, really great, great product here. I'm digging this. Master Soap Creations out of South Africa. Couldn't find their website. I looked for it, but you know you can get your stuff from uh, the wet shaving store. They, they they carry a full line of their product, and it is definitely a wonderful, wonderful soap. Feels really good. All right, I'm gonna do a wet, cold splash here. We're gonna start closing the pores. And break out my Lancaster towel. And we're partying today. I'm breaking out some cucumber thayers because it's summer. I like that cucumber scent. It's very fresh to go along with this ruby forest. Wonderful witch hazel. Kills bacteria without drying out your face. And then the post shave serum from Arion and Evans. Now, on this one, for me, it says one squirt. I do one and a half. I can't, one just doesn't do it for me. I need that one and a half. That's just me. Really great adding stuff to your skin. Nice nutrients and putting all that stuff back into your, your face. Got the matching splash. Gonna be smelling good today just to go out and cut the grass. <laughs> it is what it is, folks. Oh yeah. Now here I'm getting the bergamot and the neroli out of this. Oh man, great, great feel with this 
with this splash. It's amazing. Folks, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. And I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I will see you again real soon on Shave Tech and Dougie's Shaving.